hey, continuing right along with, with uh, Mexican Mountain Song. So now, so you got the foot tap, right? So now then the next step is to play that rhythm that you just said with your voice, but play it on one note on your clarinet, all right? So I think I'm just going to do it on an E because I like E's, but you could pick whatever note you want, all right? But make sure it stays one note, all right? Here goes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, and I'm tapping my foot and doing it just like I said it, all right? You want to make sure your foot taps to that. Okay, then the third step is to figure out what the notes are and be able to do the fingering and say the names of the notes. Now, if you don't know the notes or you don't know the note names for the first two measures, I want you to pause the video and look back to figure out what those notes are. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully you found out that it goes F, F, C, F, G, F, C, right? F, 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 C, F, G, F, C. I wanted to make sure you could see my thumb. All right. Now, notice that I tapped my foot while I did it and I said the names of the notes in the rhythm. Okay, that's important. Then once you can do that, then you try to play it. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> All right, nice. Now, go along two measures at a time and figure it out, and you'll be able to do it. Um, notice in the fourth measure that there's a curved line connecting, connecting a half note F with a quarter note F, and do you know what that is? I'll give you a hint, I'm not wearing one. That's correct, it's called a tie, and a tie connects two notes and makes them into one unbroken note. So even though it looks like there's two Fs there, there's really only one, and it's equal to a half note plus a quarter note. So how long is that? If you answered three, you got it right. It's three counts long because it's two beats plus one beat. All right, so figure that out. Have fun with Mexican Mountain Song. <laughs>